Christian Algiers has been vandalized twice in one week by somebody stealing copper from its AC units. Meg Gatto tonight tells us that St. Philip's is one of many places that copper thieves are targeting. To come and desecrate a church and a school, to me, is, is, is unthinkable. Father Steve Kraft says it was just a week ago that someone removed the copper pipes connected to the AC units cooling St. Philip's Episcopal Church. Then yesterday morning, the director of the daycare center, located just behind the church, discovered this. And I came out here to look and see what was wrong with the air conditioning, and I realized that they had come and cut the copper out of our lines, both air conditioners. Four units in all were destroyed, leaving only a portion of the daycare still cool. In the other rooms, they rely on fans to keep the kids comfortable. With only two working air conditioning units left, Father Steve has now taken to patrolling the outside of the church at night to make sure no one takes this copper. The NOPD says this theft in Algiers appears to be an isolated incident, but it's a different story in the NOPD's third district, and in particular in Lakeview, where Captain Henry Dean has been warning residents about the rise in copper thefts. Dean has recently started asking homeowners to tell cops when they leave town on vacation or have properties under renovation, so officers can check to make sure the homes are secure. Father Steve thinks the rise in thefts in the city has to do with the economy. I feel sad for the people who are doing this because we would help anybody who came here looking for uh, assistance. We would help anybody who was hungry as much as we could. Now St. Phillips is faced with the task of having to replace four air conditioning units in order to keep the daycare center open and the church operational. The cost will be about $6,000 which means cuts will have to be made. I won't be able to make improvements on the playground equipment. We won't be able to give teachers raises because they really do need it. But it's a cost they must incur in order to keep their doors open. In Algiers, Meg Gatto, Fox 8 News. Father Steve says he's hoping the parish will be able to come up with the $6,000 in the next few weeks so they can replace the air conditioning units as soon as possible. If you know anything about the crime, call Crime Stoppers at 822-1111.